Good morning, this is Ryan Hoff with your AIC Legislative Minute for January 31st, 2022, brought to you by Nationwide Retirement Solutions. It was fantastic to see so many of you at our legislative conference last week. I enjoyed the discussion and questions that many of you had on legislative issues. Your interaction with the legislators and AIC both are tremendously important to make sure that your concerns are being heard at the State House. Last week, two Senate bills that would have negatively impacted the business personal property tax base were sidelined in committee. Both Senate Bill 150 and Senate Bill 378 would have more than tripled the existing business personal property tax exemption threshold from $80,000 to $250,000. After an initial hearing for each, neither progressed out of the Senate Tax and Fiscal Policy Committee prior to the committee deadline, and in fact were pulled from the committee schedule. In his comment on pulling these bills, the committee chairman, Travis Holdman, signaled that he would have a very hard time supporting any legislation on business personal property that negatively impacts local government. AIC would certainly like to thank Senator Holdman for his strong position on protecting the property tax base. Senate Bill 145, which helps to address the dark store tax appeals issue, passed out of that same committee this week unanimously. This important legislation will not only help to underscore the proper assessment of newer big box retail stores, but we believe will also help to prevent expensive appeals defense costs, which ultimately fall upon the county and taxpayers. We would like to thank Senator Buchanan and the Senate Tax and Fiscal Policy Committee for their favorable consideration of this bill. Senate Bill 283, which would have allowed all public notices to be provided online rather than printed in newspapers, was not as successful, however. This bill was amended this week to remove the substance of the bill and ask for a summer study committee review of the issue. This effectively closes the door for mu moving public notice online for this session. Senate Bill 361, which is legislation being requested by the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, would allow the state to create what are known as innovation development districts in a limit, limited number of locations across the state. While it is intended to help the state attract major transformative economic development projects, the mechanism of the bill is to capture incremental tax growth within the district. While some of the taxes that could be captured are state revenue sources, it also includes the incremental property tax and local income tax growth within the district. This mechanism is certainly of concern. The property tax base and any mechanisms to capture the incremental growth have always been the purview of local government, and this legislation would allow the state to create such a district without local approval. While the bill was amended this week to prevent creation of innovation development districts over top of existing TIF districts, it still does not require local particip participation for the state to create an innovation development district. We will continue to work on this legislation as it proceeds. This week marks the deadlines for passage of legislation in the first half of session. Any bill that has not been passed by its chamber of origin is dead for the session as of Wednesday. Of course, some of these issues may come back to life via amendments, so we must all be diligent. Thank you for your attention. This has been your AIC Legislative Minute brought to you by Nationwide Retirement Solutions.